There are hopeful scenes like this one here at Moscone Center. Lines of people getting vaccinated, getting us that much closer to herd immunity. But scientists say it really is just a start. No, I wouldn't say it's impossible. I mean, we got rid of smallpox, right? I think we're talking years, though. You, this is years in the making to get this, you know, totally, completely, really, really, really under control. Epidemiologist George Rutherford says about 75% of the population needs to be protected from COVID-19 to reach herd immunity. Right now, Bay Area vaccination rates are around 20 to 30 percent, and more people are getting vaccinated every day. But there are still four major hurdles. The first, vaccine hesitancy, which appears to be dropping. The fact that it's going down and people are more reassured and willing to get vaccinated is fabulous news. A new survey from the Kaiser Family Foundation found a growing interest in getting the vaccine, especially among black Americans. 55% say they'd been vaccinated or plan to be soon, up 14% from just last month. Number two, an uneven vaccine rollout globally. You know, the question is, is what are we going to do about Europe, especially Eastern Europe, but what's going to have it in Africa, what's going to have it in India. Three, new variant strains like West Coast, UK, and the Brazilian variant, which landed in the Bay Area last week. And lastly, need I invoke spring break at South Beach? Slipping back into our old ways, gathering in large groups and without masks, much like these scenes from San Francisco over the weekend. Well, they weren't vaccinated. I mean, <laughs> did you see a lot of 65 year olds cavorting in those pictures? Which opens us up to more outbreaks. We have less than 20% of the population of California fully vaccinated. It's not time to, you know, declare victory and, and, um, and take a lap. It's these are touchy times. We have to be careful. In San Francisco, Lily Tan, NBC Bay Area News.